Hi everybody, this is a quick MadMapper 4 tutorial and today I'm going to demonstrate the new um, masking options. So for this I'm just going to load an image, put it there, maximize the output preview. So it's a nice uh, picture of a statue in a church and basically I want to mask out uh, this statue from the background. Uh, for video projection, for instance. So with my quad selected here, as you can see, there's an option here, a new stack. Uh, I will click uh, this one, which will basically allow me to make a free draw mask. So I start drawing, I click and drag around, I try to follow the shape uh, roughly. MadMapper, of course, uh, once I release, will try to smoothen the, the outline. Okay, so I go there. Note that anyway, I can just uh, uh, quit from pressing the, the button and then now I can switch to a line drawing mode like this. I click this one, this one, this one, like this. And anytime, while well, I can still zoom and move around while not finishing the shape, I can keep on doing this uh, like a freehead draw tool. Let me unzoom. Let me go that way. Okay. This, and I'm going to finish as a fringe bend. All right. Click return. We'll close the shape. And now, as you can see, the, the statue is masked out. However, I do want to keep the statue. So I can just invert the mask here. You can see the mask is inverted and I, now I just have the, the, the statue around. But here is some leaves that I still do want to mask out so I can create another mask on top of it. And just like that, remove uh, the leaves. And that way I do it very quick. Return, press return, and now it's masked out. If I invert, I will keep it, but I want to mask it out. And of course, I can double click rename, call it leaf, leaves, and statue. Okay. So now, what is cool with uh, MadMapper 4 is also the ability to feather one mask. So I can add some feathering, uh, define if the feathering is outside the mask, like this, it creates some kind of cool halo effect, or inside the mask. And for this, I can like this, make a very, very thin feathering like that. And now I have a clean masking to be sure. I'll grab another image underneath. Maybe I remove the perspective like this. And in my layer stack, I put it there. And as you can see now, it's pretty much clean. And of course, some, some detail could be added. But overall, I'm happy. Thanks for watching.